I'm looking out of the corner of my eye. I can see Brian, you know. <laughs> well, we could be What's up? This is Lights, hanging out at Cops Records, looking for some music. This is LP Spree. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and see what I uh, can find. I didn't find Tom Trues, which I was looking for. I don't even know if he makes vinyl. Instrumental guy that I listen to all the time when I'm drawing. There's really great records here, but I have a lot of them. Oh, here we go. Wow, loads of Brian Eno records. I first became a fan of Brian Eno with, I think it was called Music for Airplanes, and he was nervous when he flew. At least this is what I've heard. So he made a, a record that was background music for when you're flying and he became the father of ambient music. And he produced one of my favorite Coldplay records, um, Viva La Vida. Amazing producer. But I don't actually own a lot of these, so interesting. Here we go, let's try this one. Nerve net, Brian Eno. I have to make it a little further than one rack. Love Grimes, she's so cool. She does all her own art too. She's a big comic nerd. She's our own producer. Let's get this record. These guys are awesome, Ratatat. This is very accurate because they always layer loads and loads of guitars, so that's what I always envision when I'm listening to it. Loads of guitars all layered up. Let's get this. Ratatat. There was a couple over here that I think I saw that I liked. In the last few years, I've been training myself through poetry and I learned a lot from her early days where she would do readings in New York and put a lot of emphasis on words over anything else and the way she delivered them was great. So Patti Smith, I'm a big fan. This record I don't have in vinyl form. I'll probably wrap my ordeal with the Super Tramp record, which is probably one of the most influential bands in my songwriting. Crime of the Century, ooh, whoa, all of them. Crime of the Century and Breakfast in America. I used to go for rides with, drives with my dad and we would listen to these records and uh, talk about the way the songs rolled out and how they always have such an interesting progression through their songs and all these different parts that keeps you captivated through the entire thing. So these records played into my life big time. I guess I'll get one of them. Crime of the Century. I think I have one I need today. I found a lot of good stuff. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, this is so good. This was my entry into heavier music when I was younger. And I went and saw them when they made their comeback after like years and years of just doing nothing. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. So what I've ended up on today is Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Massive influence on my music and my passion for songwriting. Played in big time. Patti Smith, poetry queen. Love her so much. She's played in so much. This record's so great and I need to have it in vinyl form. Ratatat. This is how I visualize them. Just like this. So I need to have this. <laughs> Love their music. A Grimes record that I don't have. She's the best. Representing Canada. A woman that does it all. Renaissance girl. Grimes. Brian Eno. Father of Ambu music one of my favorite producers that exists. This I will put on. And Shape of Punk to Count by Refused. One of my favorite records, huge introduction into heavier music for me when I was younger. Refused. And that's my spree. Well, we could be giants, bigger than the walls that I think I found a few records that I love, um, a few that I actually don't have, and uh, I've covered a few different genres. Got some electronic, got some metal, got some rock, got some pop. And um, I'm going to disappear for a couple of days and just listen to this. If we could be